good evening everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Jaden I'm a military spouse as well as a first-time mom and so my daughter is almost 11 months old and so obviously she's about to turn one and so my biggest struggle lately has been like what to get her or people have been asking and I'm just like what do you get a one-year-old and so I've done some research. I've kind of um, thought of my own stuff. And so I put together a registry, which first of all, I highly recommend if you have like, because this is also going to be somewhat like minimal minimalism. It's gonna be like minimalist. I can't even say it. Okay, you understand that. So it's gonna be like simple. And so, um, I would highly suggest putting together a list just so people know what you actually need, like the essentials, because otherwise you're going to get a bunch of stuff, probably a lot of toys, a lot of clothes, maybe stuff that you're not going to use. And of course that does not mean that you're not grateful for it or whatever. It's just like, I know my house is small. I hardly have any room and I would rather people get us stuff that we like need because then we don't have to get it. And that's just like, helps us out you know so I put together a list and I was like well I may as well share it because I know like once again I've like researched and thought to myself like what does she need and so I was like well I thought this would be a good idea so if you have a little one who will be turning one soon this could be a great idea it would even work probably for like two-year-olds but I would definitely recommend making a registry I just did mine on baby list that way you can share it with your family your friends anyone who may ask and then they'll be like okay and they'll know and then also there's a way on there for them to reserve items or like purchase them or whatever so that way you know that those items have already been like taken and you are good to go on those ones so first of all so i asked for and i'm gonna try to should i try to link these i'm gonna try to link some of them um so i asked for this water doodle mat and basically, so I'm just going to like show you some of them. Oh, it's going to be really difficult to focus. Yikes around me, y'all. Okay, there we go. So it just looks like that. Am I back? Am I back? Am I back? Okay, I think I'm back. Okay. So basically, it's just like a mat and your child can just like doodle on it or whatever. And so it says it's a drawing painting pad with water paint with water pens and stamps it's an educational toy and so like i said this item could be more for like a toddler but i thought it would be a good idea because she's already been like drawing with my pencil like on my notepad and so i'm like hmm, that's a good idea and then i found this wooden pull along toy set of three um i like like the wood toys i feel like they're just more like vintage and I just like the look of them more honestly than plastic I don't know and so they look like that I just like a, a quick glimpse and then I just asked for some first builders building blocks which I'm like hello every kid needs their set of blocks to be like creative or whatever I just asked for a toothbrush and a toothpaste set um, I did go ahead and ask for a mattress a fitted waterproof thing like a mattress fitted um sheet or whatever that you put on the bed and then i asked for a toddler bed that has rails because we are hoping to upgrade housing and move to a different base house sometime in august when our lease is up and so i honestly do not want to put our crib back together and so we are thinking like if she's walking by then or whatever that we may go ahead and just switch her to a big bed but yes it will have like the rails on it and everything basically like it's a crib or whatever and so i thought we may as well go ahead and put that on the list and it's actually around like 50 ish dollars so i didn't think that was bad at all but see it's like you need like essential items that like down the road you're gonna have to ask for and so it's better if people get you stuff that you need rather than a toy that you're gonna use one time i asked for the little critter book set i love the little critter books they're my favorite I asked for a diffuser and then some Young Living essential oils. And then I asked for this little hippo Mella Ready to Rise children's trainer. Alarm clock, nightlight sleep, sound machine. So, 
Y'all, I am really excited about this and I've honestly been thinking about going ahead and purchasing this myself like tonight. <laughs> so let me tell you what it kind of does. So I saw on someone's Instagram story a couple months ago that they had like this little alarm clock and like a rooster would crow or something or it would like turn a certain color and it would let their kids know that it's okay to wake up. And basically it helps them stay in bed so your kids aren't waking up at like four or five. And so, and it's also, I liked it because it's also something that they can look forward to. So like when they wake up, they're like, okay, okay, like let's look forward to like the green light turning on or whatever. And so I really liked it. And like, I don't know, I just thought it's a good way to help teach your kid like structure. It's a good way to help you get some sleep. And so, like let me share some about it um so basically it's the number one kids clock so it's a sleep trainer alarm clock sleep sound machine night light and nap timer rolled into one so that is pretty awesome let me tell y'all um so apparently children don't show the concept of time until around eight years old Mella uses colors and facial expressions to teach your kid to wake up when it's time to teach your kid when it's time for bed and when it's okay to wake up. So basically, um, let me see what it says that it does again. So sleep. So you set the desired sleep time and every night Mella will go to sleep with your kid. So it'll sleep through the night so your kid knows to stay in bed and then you can set an optional night light to help your kid fall asleep peacefully. Um, half an hour before the wake time, Mello would display a playful expression and glow a yellow light to teach your kid to play quietly until the light turns green. And then, so when it turns green, that means that it is wake time. There is an alarm clock, sleep sound, night light, nap timer. So set a timed countdown for naps, timeouts, and other activities. Oh, I like that. Like the timeouts and stuff where it says countdown for naps. So they know about when it's time to go to nap so you can set it like 30 minutes before nap and so they can like show your kid about how much longer they have to play i really like that and so highly recommend putting that on your list if that is something that you are interested in it looks like this let's see if it will focus so it just looks like this i'm gonna try to link all this for y'all so i'm super excited about that and then the other day when I was at Grant's farm with my friend, we saw this little girl have on this watch that looked like a potty. And so I searched it up and it's called a potty time, the original potty watch. And basically you can set a timer and it goes off like every like 30, 45 and 60 minutes. And it will like let your kid know that it's time for them to go try to go to the bathroom. And I really like that, especially because we are doing elimination communication which I will have an updated video soon because tonight or tomorrow I'm actually going to sit down and form a more detailed schedule because I really, because she goes to the bathroom literally like every single time we put on it. And so I truthfully think she could be potty trained within the next six months if we actually like stuck with the detailed schedule and truth like just really just try to nail it down with her. And so... I went to form like a schedule and I went to share that with y'all and so I'm super excited to share that but I need to form my schedule and how I want to but anyway so there's this potty watch and I'm super excited about that because I feel like it will be great too because like she'll be so young and it'll just like help her like remember and be like okay it's time to go so I'm really excited about that um you can always add gift cards so I think I added a Target gift card and an Amazon gift card um, my husband, of course, wanted one of those little tykes basketball goals. <laughs> that was his doing. I added one of those little tykes cars. I'm sure you've seen them, like the yellow and red. So it just looks like that. If it will focus. It's like, nope, not today. There we go. So I added that. Freshly picked. I saw this on Shark Tank. I added some of those because apparently there's only like a couple shoes that are good for your kid to wear while they are starting to walk. And so they're $60 moccasins, which my husband's like, honey, only rich people have those things, but it's fine. So I added some of those and because they're supposed to like kind of mold to your child as they're like learning to walk and stuff. 
Otherwise, you're not really supposed to have them in shoes because they can help your child, like, not walk. Like, not, not walk, but, like, it makes it way more difficult for your child to learn to walk. I added some... It is a counting shape stacker wooden count sort stacking tower with a wood colorful number shape math blocks for kids. <laughs> and so it just, it looks like this. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. And so I liked it and I love the colors. They're like pastel colors or whatever. Pastel, however you say that. So it has all the numbers, one through 10. It has shapes and then it has just like stackable things. So I really, really liked that. Um, I just added the potty book for girls, P is for potty book. I added a seat, a potty seat that actually goes on the toilet because we have one that just sits like on the floor. I added a Melissa and Doug first play jungle wooden activity. I added some Hello Bello bath, bubble bath, um, some Hello Bello lotion, some Hello Bello diapers baby wipes, shampoo and wash because once again, you can always ask for essentials because you're always going to need those. And I feel like it's better to stock up and then not have to purchase them every week or every two weeks. So I asked for that stuff. Um, I asked for a radio flyer, three in one folding canopy wagon because heck yeah, every kid needs a wagon. And then I asked for just an umbrella stroller that's just like easier that just like folds right up. So instead of our big one. So those are the gifts that I asked for. I have like about 39 items in there. Um, I will try to link in the description box the ones that I've really talked about or just like the ones that I think y'all would care more about. Um, I'm honestly so excited about this list. Um, I'm still debating on her birthday party. So if you have, just like let me know in the comments what you've done for a one year old's birthday party because it's so hard for me because it's like, I know she's not going to remember it. I mean, I know there are pictures and stuff, and I really want to do something. But then it's like, I don't want to be stressed. I, I just don't know. So I'm like, like I have made an event, but I'll, obviously I can be like, okay, instead we're just going to celebrate like on our own or like, I don't know, like with family here. I just don't, are like friends here. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it all out because we go on our first, ow. We go on our first family vacation to Colorado at the end of July. And that's like a week before her birthday. And so we're really having to like budget and figure it all out. Because family vacation, the birthday party, and I don't want to spend like hundreds of dollars on a birthday party that my daughter is not even going to remember. And so it's just, I just don't know. So let me know what you did. Or like if you are gonna, like if you have a baby and you think you already know what you're going to do for their first birthday party. Let me know because I am struggling. And once you, once again, we're in the military. And so I, we have had some families say that they're coming up. But then I'm like, part of me just wants to be like, don't even worry about it. Or maybe have them come up individually and spend time with her at different times. And maybe like just having my husband take off for like her birthday weekend and us kind of doing our own thing. I don't know. Because once again, um, I'm all about simple, minimalism, all that. And so when she starts getting older, we plan to ask people for like essential items that she needs and then it, like um, experiences. So like zoo memberships or like when she's really old, like amusement park memberships or like one birthday we want to take her to Disney instead of like materialistic items. So I'm really excited about that. We want to do that for Christmas too, but I just thought this could help you out because I was really struggling, like what the heck to get my one-year-old and so just remember you can always ask for like lotion soap diapers like because we cloth diaper but you use disposables once in a while and so i hope that this can help someone out there out because i don't know we mama's got to stick together because <laughs> it can be a struggle sometimes and it can be hard to just be like and you just got to stick to your guns because listen you can give them this list and then just hope that your family and friends kind of respect it because once again, we have a small house and it's like, she hardly plays with toys. She would rather stand at the door or like she loves her walker and her plane. Those are like her two toys that she loves. Otherwise she's just like, whatever. Like she's just mobile. She wants to climb the stairs. She wants to just do other stuff. Like she doesn't really play with her toys. And like she does sometimes, but it's like, I don't want her to need like a thousand toys or like she just doesn't need a thousand toys, like, you know, so. I don't know hopefully it helps you out gives you some ideas if you have any ideas or suggestions please leave them below 
but otherwise that is all I have for this video uh, my friend and I will be doing a video together Monday about our no Starbucks thing and we're going to be doing a Q&A in there so if you have any questions about why we didn't go to Starbucks for a month or how it was or just any questions she's a military wife as well please leave them below or you can go to my Instagram I have a poll up there because I'm excited to do that video and it should be uploaded like Tuesday morning or Monday evening I'm not sure so yeah I hope you guys have a wonderful night um, it is Tuesday so that means 4th of July is coming up Mabry's first 4th I'm hoping to film some but I also just want to relax and spend it with her but I hope you all have a great day this will be posted in the morning so happy Wednesday <laughs>